Hello and welcome back to a brand new Carnage Gaming video. Today I'm going to be showing you all 10 Valorant tips and tricks that will elevate your game so much. If this video does help you out all, please be sure to drop a sub. I release daily Valorant content and feel free to leave a like as well as comment because I reply to every single one of those. Without any further ado, let's just hop straight into tip number one. So for tip number one, we have this one way Cypher Smoke on the map bind. Here you have to line up with this box line up here with this little thing this little rope and then you jump and throw this it lands on top of the box and you're actually able to activate this whenever you want and then as soon as you activate it you can see underneath to where the enemies are pushing through but from their perspective they are not able to see anything this is a great tip to use especially if you are a cypher player because you can get a free kill and a ton of information for your team with this tip I forgot to mention in the intro that in the comment section down below, I will have a time frame for every single one of these tips as well as which agent it is. So if you want to skip around, go ahead and look at the comment section. Now for our next tip, we are going to be talking about Sova's Recon Bolt. Sova's Recon Bolt has a wide variety of uses, but using it here, lining this up is a great way to use it. You just have to go into this corner, line up with this little tree, shoot it, and you're actually able to see all the way through a long and even some into mid it lands about right here and then you're able to see into window a little bit and all over where the attacking side spawns this is great to use because you're able to just get so much information here be sure to make sure that lineup is good next up i've got a great spot for you rays and jet players out there we've got a little jump here on a site on haven so if you just jump right on up from the middle, you're able to get on top of this doorway. So if we slow that down, you see that jump right there to the middle and boom, you have this angle you can hold. Nobody is going to expect you there and you can get yourself a free kill after plant or while defending your bomb site. Now we are going to be staying on the topic of jet for a little bit just because of how useful jets updraft and dash abilities are. There's so many different spots that you can just get into. So these next three or four are just going to be some jet highlight areas that you can get yourself into. So here we have a little jump on B side bind. This is to look down at B long and no one is ever going to expect you to be up there. You just need to make sure you go into custom games and practice that jump before you go attempt it in the real game over and over again. Those updrafts are super important and if you waste your credits on them and don't get in the positioning, it can be very, very bad for your team. So just go practice them, and then let's look at our next clip. This is another jet updraft clip, and if you hop onto this fountain, you're able to actually updraft twice right onto this ledge and see through B long again, but from the other side. So one of these you can use while attacking, and the other you can use while defending, but it just goes to show you how a good updraft can be for your jet players. Next up, we have another jet play, but this is not using the updraft. This is actually a great smoke that you need to know for playing on Haven. So as the jet pushes up a long, they're going to line up this smoke and it needs to be perfect. So you go to the corner of this box and sit there and now you gotta aim at the top of this window and you're gonna drag it to that point. So you throw your smoke and you wanna keep holding down your smoke key and drag it to that middle and it will actually smoke off tower right up there. This is great because then your team can actually push out onto site without having to worry about getting picked off from that tower player, which is great peace of mind for your own team to have. And it also makes the other team scramble because you haven't even had to peek out yet and you're already smoking them off. And this is a 100% of the time working smoke. You don't have to guess it anymore. You're able to line this up and then actually get there every single time. We've only got three clips left. And if you have enjoyed this video so far, hit that subscribe button. 97% of you are not subscribed right now. And that is terrible. Let's hit 2000 subs and hop into our next tip. So we're going to watch through this clip twice. We see that there is a sage and jet combination going on here. A wall gets placed down here at long, the jet activates the ultimate and gets a free kill on A long on the map Haven. Now let's watch this back one more time to see the positioning of the wall. You just gotta make sure that wall gets both of you and then you're able to jet updraft up and then float your way on down. This is also a great way to spot down A long to see if there are enemies there as well as you can get that free kill almost every single time that you do use your ultimate to get there. That is a great way to get yourself a free kill and help your teammates cross 
but it does use multiple different abilities. It uses an updraft and a wall from Sage, which can both be super useful. So you gotta be careful which ones you actually do decide to use. It's also good to point out that this is possible to do with just two jet updrafts. If you updraft twice, you're able to peek that. So if you're a solo jet player, you don't have a Sage queued with you, you can do that on your own. Next up, we have this Olaf Meister-like clip coming out. Here we see the Sage wall actually goes up. And then as the Sage wall goes up, they're able to see into the top of the upper area on A site bind. This is absolutely crazy. This wall just goes down on this little corner and then you can just easily get yourself a free kill. This is another one of those places that they will not be checking at all, which makes it so, so effective. Just make sure you hop onto that box and get that wall up at the very, very top. Now, before we get into our final and last tip, I wanna kinda of talk to you guys for just a second. I'm wondering how I should be pacing these tips and tricks and guide videos. I feel like this one's been pretty good, but also I'm not sure if I'm going too fast or even too slow. So just let me know down in the comment section down below how you think I should be speeding up or slowing down these videos because I want to make sure they're concise and I'm not adding in any random extra information just to extend them. But I also don't want to go too fast so that you all don't understand all of the tips that are happening. So just let me down down in the comments what you all think about that. Also, if you made it this far in the video, hit that sub button real quick again. And other than that, let's hop into our final and last tip. So for our final tip, we have a slow orb throw coming out from Sage on the map bind. Now this throw is a little bit precise, so you need to make sure you line this up. You wanna to get to the corner of this building and then throw it directly from there. This will trickle directly in from the roof of here and slow this entire wood area. So if there's a defender holding here and they're trying to peek out, they're not going to be able to anymore. And it can even get some people stuck, which is very, very good. That is the end of this video. We've been through 10 tips and tricks for Valorant to help you all just get that much better. Again, I appreciate you all so, so much for watching. It's been a pleasure to teach you all of these. Let me know in the comment section down below any feedback you have for the videos. I will reply to every single comment that is left down below. I appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next one. We deserve it. We put the work in. We came together like a Sunday service. Patiently waiting and made me nervous. I got demons in service. They said he lurking. Mama told me I had greater purpose. Ever since I was little, I wasn't certain. I got to searching and I found it worth it. Look at my life. Look at my life. Feel my pain.